The new month has gotten off to a stormy start across northwestern Europe as a warm and unstable air mass moved in. At the same time, cooler than average temperatures swept across the Iberian Peninsula, making it feel like early spring rather than the beginning of May. The main culprit for this temperature flip-flop is an area of low pressure over the Atlantic, but as it does continue on its weakening trend, we should see temperatures normalize across this region. But despite those changes, something that will continue to be unchanged in the near future is the constant cloud cover and precipitation coming from the Atlantic, so stick around for more information on that in this forecast. Like I mentioned in the beginning, this month did get off to a stormy start, even turning severe in some parts of northwestern and central Europe. For today, Friday, May 3rd, the severe weather threat should fizzle out for the most part, but I can't rule out another round of strong thunderstorms, especially around western Poland, in addition to a couple severe storms being possible around the Middle East. A couple weak Atlantic disturbances will be moving in behind this activity throughout the next few days, so we can expect further rounds of rainfall and even scattered strong thunderstorms as they work their way inland. We're going to talk more about the thunderstorm threat momentarily, but take a look at where some of the heaviest rainfall is expected. The United Kingdom and Ireland will be spared from the heaviest rainfall totals, but the close proximity to these low pressure systems will unfortunately mean more cloud cover and occasional rain showers. The Iberian Peninsula should be pretty dry, especially the further south you go, but very heavy rainfall will be possible around Braga, Porto, and Vigo. Heavy rainfall will continue to be a concern, extending down into the Balkans and even the Middle East, where repeated rounds of thunderstorms are in the forecast. While we may not see any widespread severe weather events in this region, any thunderstorms that do form will be capable of bringing torrential rainfall and dangerous lightning. Focusing back towards the north, modest rainfall totals can be expected as far inland as Germany, but once you get further north and east, the overall rainfall totals will be pretty light, with no precipitation expected in parts of the Nordic and Baltic countries. We're approaching the peak months for thunderstorms here in Europe, and we're definitely going to see that as we head into next week. This is my severe weather outlook for tomorrow, May 4th, and the areas with a low risk of severe weather is quite similar to today, which would be around Poland, Czechia, Germany, and of course the Middle East. As we head into Sunday, it becomes a little bit less certain where severe storms are going to be possible, but it's definitely going to be a much stormier day, especially in terms of coverage, as you can see here. All the pink you're seeing on this graphic is the convective available potential energy, and generally where you see the brightest pink is where the storms could be on the stronger side, but of course there are other factors to take into consideration. Nonetheless, the risk of torrential rainfall and dangerous lightning will be a widespread threat as this pair of low pressure systems move through. By Monday, we can expect another day of widespread thunderstorms, and this time even including parts of the United Kingdom, extending towards Belarus and Ukraine. On Tuesday, May 7th, you're going to notice more of a southern progression of this activity rather than an eastward trend, so this will actually put the Balkans under a more widespread thunderstorm risk. And then by Wednesday, we're going to see this trend continue, with storms becoming more concentrated around the Mediterranean, especially from Italy to Greece. Now, to summarize what we've discussed in today's video, I did create a temperature and precipitation outlook for May 3rd through the 10th. Widespread above normal temperatures can be expected across Europe, being most pronounced and noticeable in Central Europe into Scandinavia. On the other hand, the relentless thunderstorms and downpours, especially around Turkey, are going to lead to some cooler than average temperatures, with much colder than normal weather expected across western Russia, and that's why there is widespread blue across that area. As far as the precipitation goes, you can see some green shades extending from parts of the British Isles all the way to the Middle East, which can be expected due to the active pattern. A darker green is in place over eastern Turkey into some surrounding countries, and once again that's due to the repeated rounds of heavy thunderstorms across that area. Drier than average conditions can be expected from North Africa into southern Spain and Portugal, parts of Italy and Greece, and northeastern Europe. That's going to be all for today's European weather discussion, so make sure you leave any of your questions or comments down below, and if you enjoyed this report, you can show your support by simply leaving a like on the video, or even subscribing if this is your first time here. But one last thing before we do conclude is photo of the day, and for today's photo, this was sent in by Lamy in Czechia, and this is a great display of cumulus clouds over a nice landscape. Remember that you can also submit your own photos to be shown on my next video through Discord or Instagram, and once again, those links are included in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.